Hey guys, welcome to week two of boot camp. Hopefully everyone's staying warm, a bit chilly outside, super windy. Um, so I'm glad to be I'm glad to be joining you from home today. I have the fireplace going, making sure I'm nice and toasty. We'll see how long that stays on. It'll get pretty hot uh, as we as we get into the workout. Uh, so it's week two. We're increasing our intensity today. Um, again, these are all body weight circuits that we're going to be doing. Um, upper body strength, lower body strength, mixed in with some cardio as well. So we'll be going through two different circuits for our main workout. Um, they're going to be upper body strength, uh, lower body strength, and then cardio. Um, so we get a little taste of everything. Uh, as we say, each class, if you're get, feeling any dizziness, lightheadedness, shortness of breath, that's a good indication to uh, either decrease your work ratio or decrease, increase your rest ratio, or take a pause and break altogether or end the workout, okay? So any lightheadedness, dizziness, it's a good warning sign, okay, to, to, to uh, bring the intensity down, okay? Uh, make sure you have your water with you. Make sure you have running shoes on, uh, athletic clothing. Make sure nothing that's going to impede your movement because we'll be moving uh, around quite a bit today, as we always do. Uh, make sure you have nothing on the floor that you can trip on and make sure you have enough room to kind of go side to side, front and back. Uh, but we can work with whatever room you have, whatever space you have, okay? Just make sure there's nothing to trip on. Um, as I said, make sure you have your water with you. Uh, stopwatch is good, but I'll be uh, telling you guys when to start and stop. And uh, the only thing that you will need if you have one would be a jump rope. If you don't have one, no worries. Um, I'll give you something to do during the, that time that I'm using the jump rope, okay? So we're going to start with a warm up. So just make sure we're on our feet. What we're going to do is a lunge with a twist. Okay, so we're going to drop down into a lunge. We're going to alternate our feet as we go. So we'll start on our left foot, lunge forward. So nice deep lunge. You're going to take your left elbow to left knee and then twist your torso to the to the right. This might be backwards on the screen. I'm going to take my right hand and Make sure your gaze is following your hand. Push back up again. Same thing on the opposite side. Right arm goes down. Right knee to right uh, elbow. Come up, turn, and twist. And we're going to do six of these, okay? So six on each side. Push back. Hand goes down to the ground. Twist. There's four. Push back. Make sure you're really pushing back so you get that start position. Five, six, and make sure you're lunging deeper and twisting more on each one. Okay, seven, eight, we'll do two more on each leg, nine, and last one. And good, lunge, and twist, and good. This time we're gonna start on our hands and knees. Okay, we're gonna go into a push-up position. So from the side here, into a push-up position. What we're gonna do is go into a high plank. We're gonna push our bum up, so the weight's on the balls of our feet here, so heels can pre-press down. Take our left foot, bring it towards our left hand. And then drop your knee, drop the hips. Sit into that stretch, bring your hips forward, come back. Same thing with the other side, right foot to right hand, drop the hips. I'll go a bit quicker, drop, back, drop, good. Butt up, heels down if you can. I'll do four more. One. Two, three, last one, and four. Good. Stand up, put our arms down, palms facing down. We're going to do forward shoulder rotations. Just making sure our shoulders are warmed up. Arms forward, big circles. Good, good. Now this time, palms up. Starting off with small circles, and we're going to work our way backwards. Go a bit bigger and then biggest all the way around. Awesome. We're going to go into a push up. Uh, we're going to go for our knees, modified push ups. So we're working low intensity here, just getting the body warmed up. 
muscle is getting used to movement. Down to a push up, chest touches the floor. Do six of these one, two, three, four, five, and six. Good. All right, stand up into a squat position. So feet shoulders apart, uh, toes point out. We're going to go down into a nice low squat and have your hands out in front of you if you want. One, and 10 of these. Two, three, four, five, nice and low, back nice and straight, upper body uh, upright, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, last one, and 10. Final movement we're gonna do is 10 jumping jacks. So incorporating some lower body and upper body, some coordination as well. So finish our warm up with 10 jumping jacks, 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. Great work. Grab some water. We're going to uh, rest for a minute. As you're resting, I'm going to go through the first circuit. Okay. So grab your water, uh, take a drink of water, and just listen to my instructions. The first station is going to be push ups. Uh, we're actually going to be doing a T push up. So, what we're going to do. You can do a standard push-up from your feet or from your knees. We're gonna go down to a push-up, press up from there, taking your arm up, same thing, look at, gaze at your hand, twist, back down, same thing with the opposite side, okay? Twist, back down. If you're doing that from your knees, just bring your feet out a bit wider. Down, twist, down, twist, okay? So we're gonna do six, so it's three on each side. So I'm bringing my hand up three times on each arm. From there, split squats. Uh, we're, do, we're gonna do six on each leg, or you can do 12 bodyweight squats. So going down, press back up, going down, press back up. You can see I'm locking in my position here. I'm not going forward or back or side to side, pushing out against my abs, down to a lunge, split squat, back up again. Six on each leg, okay? After that, we're gonna be jumping, or sorry, jump rope for 30 seconds. And we're gonna be doing alternating feet. So left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. If you don't have a jumping jack, what you're gonna do is uh, very light plyo lunges. So we're not going down too far. We're not coming up too high. We're just crisscrossing our arms and crisscrossing our legs, okay? So from, from the side, it'll look like this. Start, keep shoulders apart. You're gonna kick out opposite leg and opposite arm. Okay, so left leg is gonna go forward and right arm is gonna go forward. So just like this, arms and legs are doing the opposite, okay? So if you don't have jump rope, you can do that. We're gonna be doing 20 seconds rest in between each station uh, and then for the jump rope we're going to do is 30 seconds okay after each circuit we're going to rest uh two minutes okay so we're going to start with our push-ups we'll get you guys on the ground six reps of the push-ups six reps of the split squats again we're doing a push-up with the twist three two one begin one so chest comes all the way down two Twist all the way. Three, four, five. Nice and slow and controlled. And six. Good. 20 seconds, we'll get into our split squats. Again, we'll be coming nice and low. Focus on your, your control on the way down so you're not just dropping down. You're resisting against gravity. Nice and slow and controlled. Press back up. Okay. Make sure you're balanced. If you want to put your arms out, we'll start in five seconds. Right foot up, left foot down. Press from the heel. Three, two, one, and go. One, two, three. Halfway there. Three more. Four, five. Last one. And six. Good. Switch feet. Same thing on the other side if you want. To make it a bit more difficult, you can use uh, dumbbells, cans of soup, anything that's going to weigh you down. Two, 
three, four, five, and six. Good. 20 seconds. We'll get into a jump rope. Again, if you don't have jump rope, you can do the light plyo jumps. I'm just going to get my stopwatch going for 30 seconds. We're going to start in 10. Four, three, two, and begin. Left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot, left foot. Keep that pace up. Left, right, left, right, left, right. If you're doing the plyo jumps, that's fine too. Same thing, shoot the same pace. So left, right, left, right, left, right. So next uh, time around, I will show you uh, how to do the, the plyo lunges, okay? 10 more seconds, left, right, left, right, left, right. Five seconds, four, three, two, and one. Great work. All right, we're gonna rest two minutes. Got a drink of water if you have it. We have one more round of this. Six push-ups, six split squats, and then we're gonna do 30 seconds of either jump rope or the light plyo lunges. So I'm going to show you this round how to do those, okay? I'm going to get into position. Three more seconds. On these push-ups, you want to make sure you're going all the way down, full range of motion, hitting your chest to the floor and the bottom. Arms fully extended, and then you can do your turn. 10 seconds, five, four, three, two, and go. Chest all the way down, up, and twist, nice and fluid. Two, three, four, five, last one, and six, good. Over to our split squats, we'll start in 20 seconds. Again, if this is too easy, you can throw a backpack on, throw some books in there, bottles of water. You can also hold bottles of water at the sides. If it's too hard, you can do 12 reps of a uh, regular body weight squat, okay? Start in five seconds. Six reps each. Three, two, one, and go. One, two, three, four, five, last one, and six, good, switch feet. One, two, three, nice and low, but keep that knee off the ground, four, two more, five, last one, and six. Okay, 20 seconds, we'll get to our, I'm gonna be doing the, the plyo jumps. Make sure that if you're having any trouble with balance with those split squats, Look straight ahead, that'll help you. Hold your hands if you need to, okay? Five seconds. So opposite arm off the leg for 30 seconds. Three, two, one, and go. Two, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Good, halfway there. 15 more seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Great job. Awesome work. We're gonna get into our next circuit. So while you guys are resting, grab some water. I'll go through each movement. We're going to be needing an elevated surface. So for me, I'm going to be using my couch here. I'm going to be doing dips for our upper body movement. It's going to be here. Okay, you can put your feet straight out if you want to. This is the, the standard variation. Uh, regression would be from your feet. So regression just means a bit easier. Take some of the body weight, puts it on your, your uh, legs. So you're not lifting it with your upper body. This is harder, this is easier, okay? So for the first exercise, we'll be using um, those. 
the next exercise is gonna be toe touches. So I have my right foot up and I'm gonna switch my right from my left foot. So it'll look like this. Okay, so I'm pushing off and then switching. Okay, that's the next movement. We're gonna do that for 30 seconds. So right foot stays up. As you bring your right foot back and down, your left foot's gonna come up. Okay, and you're just touching the top, so you're driving your knees up. From there, we're gonna do prisoner squats. So hands behind your back, feet shoulders apart, come down into a squat, come halfway up, back down, and then a full squat, okay? So down, bottom position, halfway up, back down, and finish it off. We're gonna do 10 reps of that, okay? Start with the dips. We're gonna start in 30 more seconds. Again, 20 seconds in between each station. Two minutes in between each round, we're gonna do two rounds. 30 seconds for the toe touches, okay? Start with the dips, move to the toe touches, and then go into the prisoner spots. So hands oh, uh, just outside shoulder width or at shoulder width apart, and bend at the elbows, push, push your elbows back in a nice straight line. You can go from the heels or flat footed, okay? We're doing uh, eight reps of these, three, two, one and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, all the way up. Seven, last one, and eight. Good. So toe touches. If any elevated surface, it could be anything, it could be a stool, you put a backpack in front of you, anything that's gonna bring your knee up to about 90 degree angle, and it's not gonna move around too much, okay? So we're gonna start this in 10 more seconds. Right leg up first, and then switch. Five, four, three, hold on, and grab my stop. Two, one, and go. So you can move your arms too, drop those knees up. Nice quick pace, drive the knees up, make sure you use the right, the right height. Don't get lazy, you kick your toe. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. We'll stop that. Do our prisoner squats in 20 seconds. Hands behind your head. Nice deep squat position. We're gonna do a rep and a half, basically. Do 10 of those, okay? So down, bottom position, up halfway, come back down, full squat. 10 of those. Every time you stand up to the starting position, that's one rep. Three, two, one and go. There's one, two, three, four, five, keep going, six, seven, eight. Nine, good, last one. And awesome. So feel, feel a lot of probably um, lactic acid building up. So a lot of time under attention for that because you're not coming right up. The, uh, the blood kind of pulls in the legs, but you want to make sure you're not um, at that pause position. You don't want to come down right away. You want to stand up, create some tension, back down, and then all the way back up. Two minutes before you do that circuit again. I'm going to do it one more time through. Start with the dips into the uh, toe taps and then back to the squats, okay? One more minute of rest. Grab some water if you have it. Try not to gulp it down. Maybe just wash the mouth out so it's not dry, but if you start to gulp it down, you'll most likely get some cramps. So drink little by little. If you're feeling any lightheadedness, dizziness, a good sign to decrease your, your work ratios or decrease your reps, increase your rest time in between. We'll start in 10 seconds with our dips. Three, two, one, and go. Elbows back all the way down, a nice 90 degree bend there. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. Toe touches for 30 seconds. Start in 10 more seconds. Right foot up, opposite arms, opposite legs. Okay. Start in three, two, one, and go. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. That's the pace you should be going at. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Keep going. Halfway there. 15 more seconds. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good work. Into our prisoner squats. 20 seconds. Keep moving around, catch your breath. Ten more seconds. Hands behind your head. Remember to pause halfway through the rep. Three, two, one, and go. Down all the way, halfway, pause, back down. There's one. Down all the way, halfway, pause. There's two. Good. All the way. There's three. There's four, there's five, there's six, there's seven, keep going, there's eight, two more, there's nine, last one, halfway pause, down, and up, ten, good. Okay, let's do that. <laughs> Your legs are probably pretty sore. Now with our last round of that circuit, we're gonna do a little bit of core work now. Focus on taking deep breaths, so into the nose, out through the mouth. Let's try to decrease your heart rate and the uh, intensity of your breathing. We're gonna do a quick core movement here. My favorite exercise for upper body and core are timed bear crawls. So we're gonna do two sets of 20 seconds. A refresher if you're not sure what a bear crawl is. You start in a push-up position, bring your hips down a little bit, bring your left leg in, right leg in. This is the starting position here. You're gonna take your right arm out, left leg forward. Again, you're gonna crawl back and forth. If you only have like enough room to do two steps, that's fine. Just go back and forth. If you have enough room, you can go up and down as far as you can. We're gonna go for 20 seconds, two sets, okay? So I'm gonna crawl over here, start my stopwatch, and begin. So nice and slow and controlled. I'll show you from a couple different angles. That's from the front. 10 more seconds, I'll show you from the side. Okay, nice and slow and controlled, short steps. Keep your back nice and low. Three, two, one, and break. 10 seconds, we're gonna start another set of that. Stay low to the ground. Movement should be nice and slow and controlled. Abs should be braced, arms should be locked out, okay? Three, two, one, and go. Right, left. Right, left, my back's flat, nice and low and slow. Keep going, keep going. Good, five, four, three, two, and one, good. Awesome work. We're gonna do a quick cool down stretch. We're gonna do this seated on the floor. Let me just bring this forward. Turn this down. So catch your breath. Sit on the floor here. You can sit cross-legged if you want. 
with your legs out, it's up to you. I like to sit cross-legged with my elbows kind of around my knees. And then I'm just focusing on bringing my heart rate down. So take deep breaths. You're probably home alone, so don't worry about uh, sounding, sounding strange taking deep breaths. It's really gonna allow you to kind of bring your heart rate down, lower your stress. What we're doing right now, while we're focusing on bringing our heart rate down, is focusing on our breath. We want to make sure we're breathing through the belly. A lot of people, when you tell them to take a big breath in, their shoulders rise first. What I want you, what I want you to do is fill your belly full there. Okay, so you can put your hands on your stomach just as a cue. Take a deep breath in. Go through your nose and out through your mouth. Good. In through your nose. And up to the mouth. Good. Big belly full breath into the nose. And out through your mouth. Good. I'm gonna take my left leg back, bring my right, right leg forward, and I stretch my hips, um, my quads. I have lots of dust on my pants. Um, but you should feel a stretch right in here, up through your hips, and then open up your shoulders as well. You can lean into that left elbow or right elbow. Pull it across your body so it's like a full body stretch here. Take a deep breath in, you'll feel even a bit bigger stretch in through the nose and out through the mouth. Good. Next side, right leg back, left leg forward. Again, you can drop this elbow down. Feel the stretch in front of your hips, quads. And then put your hand over your head and you can feel it more in your obliques and your lats and your shoulders. Take a deep breath into the nose. And as you breathe in, you can find little pockets of tightness and just sit in that position. So deep breath in. And exhale. Good. And then we're going to get back into the cross-legged position there. And I roll my shoulders back. Again, take deep breaths in. As you're doing this, we're gonna do five, four, three, two, and one. Good, we're gonna do the same thing. This time we're gonna go forwards. So as you're doing it, take deep breaths in. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good, what we're gonna do now is take our, our um, <laughs> So I'm watching in the, uh, I'm watching on my screen, everything's backwards. So I'm gonna take my um, left ear, which might look like it's my right ear, but I'm gonna take my left ear, pull it towards my left shoulder, just let it drop. Do it nice and slow if there's any pain. You can bypass this one. Look straight up at the sky or the ceiling, and then back down towards your feet. Come to a neutral position. Switch sides, my right ear to my right shoulder. Same thing, we're gonna look up towards the ceiling of the sky. Look down towards your toes, keeping your right ear close to your right shoulder. And then we're gonna do semicircles, tucking our chin in. Good. So you should hopefully be, you should have like a, noticeable difference in your heart rate and, and the intensity that you're breathing right now should be a bit slower look over your right shoulder over your left shoulder over your right shoulder and over your left shoulder awesome i hope you guys had a great boot camp i hope you're a little more relaxed now uh, movement's very important to us uh physically mentally as well so it's good that you guys are Kind of treating yourself to a break during the day, whether you're you're having a break from studying or from work. It's really important that we're taking care of our bodies and our minds. So thank you for joining me. We'll see you next week. If you have any questions about uh, any of the movements, let me know. You can shoot me a, uh, a message. It's chris.souza at senatorcollege.ca. Um, until next week, have a great weekend, and we will see you then. Take care, everybody.